Hi, and welcome to our tech tip videos on ANSYS Mechanical. In this video, I'm going to be going over why bolt pre-tensioning is necessary. So here on this 3D model that you can see on my screen, you see there's a pressure vessel flange set up. In between the, the top of the flange is a gasket. By applying bolt pretensioning in my analysis, see over here, I've applied 1,500 pounds to each one of these bolts. And this is a symmetric analysis. You can see stress results from the bolt pretensioning. And we could also take a look at the pressure that's applied on the gasket. You can see on the outer edges of this gasket, there is some pressure applied. And when we take a look at the deformation results, you can see that these edges on the gasket are under compression. That's good. That means that our pressure vessel flange is sealed. But how do we know that we've applied enough bolt pretensioning? I'm going to go over to an analysis where I apply a load on the cap of the flange here. I'm gonna apply 9,000 pounds. Let's assume that's how much pressure is being applied to this area. When I take a look at my results, I can see on the gasket that there's no pressure on the, on the gasket. That means my seal has been undone. If this was a pressure vessel, then it would leak and I'd be in pretty big trouble. So that's why bolt pretensioning is important. We want to potentially observe the stresses in the bolts themselves. If the, have the bolts failed? Have I applied enough bolts? Did I size them correctly? And also we want to try to see how it affects our design when the, it's under loads. Now this one's, you know, the gasket has uh, the gasket has failed us, and now we're having a leak. So tune into all our other bolt pretension videos that will follow this one. Thank you.